Hello everybody, this is Sprint Racer 92 here. Um, I had a few people ask me how, how I make pace cars. Um, now I could just go and explain it in some text chat, or I can make a nice little YouTube video to help you out and maybe share it with somebody so you can help them out. Um, before we start, you are going to need WinMIP2. You absolutely need it, can't do without it. Um, as for a painting program, I'd recommend GIMP. It's free, It's it has a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get used to it, it's fairly easy to use. Um, finally, you'll need a pace car. Well, where do you get the pace car? Um, today we're gonna be doing a Corvette Z06. Now you can find this, go to Stun Odd Racing, you can go over to the side here, you'll see, out oh, past it. There it is, pace cars and pace trucks. Scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see this lovely 2008 Corvette Z06 pace car by Bill1947. Give that one a download, then, well, that doesn't help you much because this does not come with templates. Well, to go get the templates, go back to downloads. You're going to go, to go down to templates. You're going to see right here you have pace car dash pace truck. First one right here by Martin Race. Go click on this. Go get yourself the templates. Just like that, you have both things you need to make the pace car. Right, that took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but whenever you get done downloading it, you want to go in here and you want to extract them. Um, the 2008, the templates will require a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip to extract it. No big deal, you go get that, you're done. The other one's just fine. Go on, extract them, do whatever. Uh, just get them out of there. All right, now once you get them out of the, once you get them extracted, you want to go in here. This is where all your pace car stuff is, or like this is the actual pace car, so to say. Um, we'll come back to that later. However, this, these are where the templates are. We're going to want to open both of these, double click, double click, get them both open, you know, get them in there, get them open, what have you. So when you open it, you're going to see this. Um, just turn off the cover sheet. You won't be needing that any time of the week. I mean, it's, you know, you have all the credits there, can't paint on it. Painting a pace car is about the same as is painting a regular car for this game. There's nothing... Nothing special to it. Uh, I mean, it has a few quirks that I'm going to talk about now. Um, the big thing, I suppose, is that there's two parts to it. Most Obviously, that's not normal, I suppose you'd say, or not normal for painting like a regular car. That's the thing about a pace car. It has two different parts. Um, you can paint them two different things. I normally like to paint them the same thing. I'm just doing a simple little, simple little thing here. I'm just going to paint them blue. You know, nothing... Not going to go insane here. You can draw on them just, just like a regular car. You know, make it. You can do whatever you want with this. Horrible little pace. Pace car, if I could spell. Whatever. It is. I can't stress this enough. This is literally just like painting a regular, regular old NASCAR for this game. Nothing special to it. So I'm going to quickly finish this up. Just, just for tutorial. This doesn't look too good, but is what it is. Doesn't need to be fancy. This is just for tutorial purposes. Before you export it, make sure you go in here and get rid of the mask for both of them. Make it look a little more silly, but is what it is. You should get rid of the mask for this one. I guess raster 8 for that one as well. Um... From there, you can go into File, and you can Export Mesh. Now, this is where it gets interesting. You can name it whatever you want. I like to keep them the same name, kind of similar. Make sure it's a .tga file. You need a .tga file for WinMIP, so make sure it is a .tga file. Export. Go in here and do the same thing for the body. Body underscore blue .tga. It's like that. You have painted the pace car and exported it. Okay, so now we need to convert the files into MIP files. So um, you're going to need WinMIP. Uh, you can put that wherever. I have mine kind of embedded in uh, in my NASCAR folder. Um, you're going to open that. Um, there's a couple other. You can find a few tutorials. If you can't figure WinMIP out, if you're new to it, um, if it's not working, there's a bunch of other tutorials out there to get it to work. Um, once you get it working, all you need to do is go here and make sure you click uh, this one right here. This is NR2003, or it directs WinMIP to edit 2003. Go to File, Open. 
Um, wherever you have saved your uh, TGA files for the pace card, go there. I save mine in the same place. Um, so you go there, you open them. You're going to love this. It's simple as this. Go over, drop this down, MIP. That's it. Save as. Um, and that is all of that. Um, there's Once we move them over, there'll be a little more work to do. But for the most part, close that out. Go back to the uh, accent. Go here. Scroll on over. TGA to MIP. And really isn't anything to it. Uh, that's all there is to convert them. That's And that right there is all you needed WinMIP for. So you can close that out. Breathe a sigh of relief. Uh, no more WinMIP. So, yay. All right. So now to actually get the files into your game. Remember how I was talking about where all those pace car stuff, like the, the actual MIP files were for the pace car? These two right here, Z06 AC and Z06 body. We're going to replace these. To replace them, you want to go to wherever you save the TGAs. Um, mine are right here, as I said. Rename them to Z06 AC. Go here to the body, Z06 body. It is extremely important that you name them the same thing. I cannot stress enough. It will not work if you change the name up of the MIP. So copy them like this, or you can cut them. Doesn't matter. Go to the Z06 folder, paste, and replace. That's it. So to install them to your uh, desired series, whether it's your league or Whatever the case may be, you're just going to copy everything from there. Go to your series folder that you want to replace and just paste them in and replace. If there's, I already did a tutorial, or I shouldn't say that, I did a couple other takes, didn't quite work out so well. So if you, if you have anything to replace, replace it. It shouldn't break. If it does, um, I'll try and find a fix for it and help you out in the comments, but it should be just fine. You don't need to mess with the series folder or anything. You should be able to go right in now, enter your game, and my controller's off. Very cool. Oh, well. Don't need to worry too much about that. Ah. Discard all options changes if that happens to you. Oh, well. Let me just show you that this works real quick. Cut to the race. And if I go to the pace car, you can Driver, see right here... If I can get a good look at it, this is the pace car that we just created in the tutorial. It's just like that. So, I thank you for watching. I'm sorry that this was so quick. Um, OBS decided it didn't want to work anymore, so I had to use uh, Screencastify. So, thank you for watching. I hope this helped. Go make your own pace cars, everybody.